Hello, welcome to our video. Today we're having a look at this phone. It's a uh, dual SIM QWERTY phone. Now you may think this looks like a Blackberry, but uh, just so we can get this out of the way, it's not a Blackberry. Okay, let's have a quick uh, overview of the outside. We've got our uh, QWERTY keyboard on the front, a nice uh, 2.6 inch, I believe, screen. Um, we've got a front camera. On the back, uh, we do have another camera, uh, the LED flash. On the side, we've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a USB charger data transfer port, a quick camera button, up and down button for volume, and I think that's a back button as well. Okay, let's put the, uh, the SIM in and um, have a go. So to get the back off, just pull it off. Like I said, it's a dual SIM phone, um, so it will take uh, two SIMs. One goes in the, on the bottom, one goes in on the top, just like that. Fully unlocked, so it will take any SIM. Um, so if you've got pairs you go or contract, it will pretty much take any SIM apart from free. Now what I'm doing just now here is uh, putting the memory card in. The memory card goes in on the bottom there. Okay, put the battery in. Pop the back back on. And there you go. Let's uh, turn it on. Okay, while that's turning on, let me show you what you get with the phone. We give you another standard battery, which is, which is great, so you'll have one spare. It's a 1200 mAh battery, so it's pretty good for a phone of this size. It will give you plenty of life. We give you a data transfer charger cable and, of course, a USB charger. Because it's USB, plug it in there, plug it into your mains, you can charge it. You can charge it by your home um, computer as well because it's USB. Finally, there's a, there's a quick uh, instruction manual here. It, it's very basic. It's all in English, but um, you know it, it gives you some pointers um, if you need to. Right. So um, now the phone started. Let's have a quick go on it. Now the the main thing about this phone is this wonderful QWERTY keyboard. If you're a texter, um, you know you'll find this a joy to use. The buttons are pretty good as well. They're very sturdy. Um, and it's very easy to use. Now the other thing that this um, that this phone has, it has a little touchpad here. This button here is actually a touchpad, so if I can navigate screens just by touching it. So as you can see, I'm navigating this, this front menu here just by touching the uh, the touch button here. So it acts like a, a mouse on your uh, laptop. So that's pretty cool. Um, right, let's have a look at this front screen. On here, uh, we've got fun and games, messaging, services, which is like the internet, phone book, audio player, and locking the keyboard. On the top, you can see it's recognized both my SIMs, Orange and Vodafone. Um, that, that means I can receive a call from either of these, uh, these SIM cards, um, or I can call out from those SIM cards as well. Um, so it's without any switching so they're standby at the same time so you don't have to switch them over you can receive and make calls from either of those numbers okay so let's get into the menu if you press this button here that gets us into the menu and then we've got more things more about our messaging messaging services phone book settings wi-fi now this phone has wi-fi as well so great if you're indoors for uh, uh, using your wi-fi or if you're outdoors using uh, wi-fi hotspots got file managers we've got uh, organizer call center again uh, calendar i think an extra things in there let's have a look we've got a calculator stopwatch ebook let's go back uh, fun and games i think it's got a very basic game in there it supports java so you can download new java games off, off the internet we've already got facebook on there um, we've got google yahoo um, audio player camera um, search fm radio video player um, alarm clock msn ebuddy um, Yahoo, Twitter, Opera. So there's already quite a lot built into this phone. 
Um, so you know it, it's going to keep you occupied um, and it's going to be very functional because it's got all the things that you would use like Google and, and uh, Facebook. Okay let's have a quick look at the camera if I just press the, uh, the camera button here that will get us into the camera um, so yeah it, it's, it's not a bad camera very handy if you need to take pictures on the go. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk, tell you about this phone the screen is actually touchscreen as well so that's an extra bonus so you can navigate in many ways using the keyboard using this uh, mouse pad type thing here or using your finger as you can see it's fully touchscreen so that's that's another handy feature to have let's just quickly go on the internet okay the uh, the, the browser's loaded there we have the uh, the Google Right, there we have the Google. Let's uh, go to BBC. So just type in BBC, option done, then search. It should bring up the BBC homepage. This is where the, uh, the touchscreen really comes in handy. Okay, so um, there's the internet. I'm using the, the, the Wi-Fi for the internet at the moment. So let's just uh, type in something. Type in us. I can use the click to search. Now uh, that's where the touch screen comes in handy because I can just click that. Um, let's scroll down and there we are so it's fairly straightforward to use the internet very handy when you're out and about now I've used the Wi-Fi so when you're out and about you can use Wi-Fi hotspots and things um, some settings are already put in for your sim so if you want to uh, browse the internet on your sim card data plan some of the settings are already built in there however um, if they're not, you may have to ask your um, uh, network provider to provide you those SIMs, uh, th that, those, those settings. So how do you use a dual SIM function? Very simple really. So we would dial out a number like usual. And then on here, well, look, we've got SIM 1 and SIM 2. So I can press those buttons uh, to either call out from SIM 1 or SIM 2. It's as straightforward as that. And similarly, if we receive a call, um, from either SIM, I'll show you how it shows up. So if you receive a call from uh, SIM 2 or SIM 1, it will show you. I'm just going to make a call to the phone from my phone. Okay, so you can see there it's um, from SIM 1 there. Now that's an extremely annoying ringtone, but uh, you can change that ringtone. Um, so there you have it. Um, similarly for text messaging, messaging is the same. You'll, you'll get uh, a, a, an option to either text message from SIM 1 or SIM 2. So that's how you do, do the dual SIM function. Now remember, both these SIMs are on at the same time, so you can make calls and receive from either SIM. So it's like carrying two phones at the same time. So um, there you have it. There's a phone. It's a fantastic dual SIM phone if you want a, a straightforward phone with uh, quite a little few functions thrown in uh, for good measure. Um, great QWERTY keyboard. Very nice looking phone, it's very light, um, it's very thin, it's uh, well put together. This is the phone for you. Um, at this price, I don't think um, you can get much better. It is a fantastic phone for the price, so don't wait too long to get yourself one. Thanks for watching our video.